in this video we're gonna try to study this um, historic integral so it's the cosine of t squared the integral of the cosine of t squared between 1 and infinity so uh, to be able to study this one we we we're gonna try to find the following limit so the limit as x goes to infinity of this integral between 1 and x okay so the issue that we, we have so the issue that we have to get rid of is the t squared we have to change it okay and the existence of this integral is for x bigger than 1 is guaranteed because we know from our definite integral that this one is continuous on some bound that we fix x for now bounded interval, interval that this one exists okay so this integral exists for all x bigger than 1 okay so now let's focus on this one here so 1x cosine t squared dt the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna get rid of the t squared so that's why we change t to some y okay so this integral becomes the following so when t or let's change it to t so since t is bigger than 1 so we have t is just square root of y okay so uh, uh, when t is 1 y is 1 when t is x y is just x squared and we have the cosine of t cosine of t squared is just cosine of y and we need to have dt dt is going to be uh, 1 over square root of y dy so it's going to be 2y dy okay so this is our integral for now so when we take the limit we will take the limit of this one okay so the issue is that uh, before we take the limit uh, we don't know how to oh here the square root of y so uh, we we don't know the behavior of this one okay and we don't know a primitive so we can take the limit okay but we're going to use some kind of comparison uh, to conclude that this integral exists okay that's why we're going to use a uh, integration by part of this one here so we have the cosine of y over uh, 2 square root of y between 1 and x squared so we're going to let this one as so so it's going to be so let's use this change so we have uv prime is uv minus uv prime so we're going to get u prime is cosine of y that means u is sine and we're going to let v is uh, 1 over 2 square root of y so that means v prime is going to be minus 1 over 4 y 3 over 2 okay so now we can use this one here so we're going to have u v that means sine y over 2 square root of y between 1 and x squared minus it's going to be plus 1 over 4 between 1 and x squared of u v prime that means sine y over y to 3 over 2 dy so now so let me let me let me call this one ix okay ix if i take the limit of ix as x goes to infinity so here this one i can bound it by so it's going to give me sine x squared over 2x minus sine y over 2 okay so when i take the limit this one can be bounded by 1 over 2x and this one goes to 0. this one here i'm going to have minus sine 1 over 2 plus 1 over 4 but this one here okay i can bound it by since sine of y is always less than 1 Okay. I can bound this one by just 1x squared 1 over y 3 over 2 dy. So this one is always bounded by this one. Okay. So when I take x to, the, to infinity, I know this one is convergent because 
this is of the form 1 over x to the power alpha and I'm between 1 and plus infinity dx so alpha is bigger than 1 so alpha is 3 over 2 and therefore this one is convergent okay in this case uh, my integral is gonna be uh, the It's, it's finite, so it's not gonna be, I'm not going to be able to compute it. But all I'm going to say is that this integral is finite and it's, it's convergent. It's less than some kind of infinity and it's, therefore this integral is convergent according to, to, to here. So, so this one is bounded by this one, by this value here and this finite value. Therefore, it's convergent. That's all I'm, I can say. There are some techniques that we can compute this one exactly, but we are not going to do that. So our aim is, what can we say about this? All we can say is that this integral is convergent, okay? Its value will be known later. Thank you.